XRP Army, what's up, guys? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, don't listen to the Fudsters, guys. I have been holding XRP since before the lawsuit, still holding it. In fact, bought more when the lawsuit came around, continued to buy it, and I will continue. And I kept buying it. Um, I'm done DCAing now because I mean it's up at 66 cents, but don't get me wrong, it's still a good price, guys, for XRP considering where it's going to go. So if you don't have XRP, it's a nice DCA opportunity, or you want to fill your bag more. It is a good, I get the hiccups going on here. It's a good opportunity, guys. Not financial advice, however, you're not going to be able to find XRP below a dollar for very much longer, in my opinion. So, like I said, down one percent on the day, up seven and a half percent on the week. Uh, guys, I don't think it'll be long before XRP is back up over 75 cents, uh, probably closer to uh, 80 90 cents. So uh, let's have a look here. We covered this uh, beginning of this story, uh, I believe it was last month when it first broke. Uh, this is the continuation of that coverage. CBDC Palau satisfied with its ripple power to CBDC pilot program. Palau uh, is touting its pilot of the central bank, the CBDC, based on ripple technology. Despite minor challenges, the feedback from the pilot conducted on Ripple's CBDC platform has been positive. A successful CBDC pilot during the program's first phase, the Ministry of Finance reported high satisfaction in Palau's Ripple-based central bank digital currency pilot. Around 31.7% of survey participants uh, expressed satisfaction with the experience, while 36.6% deemed it excellent. Uh, the pilot program imposed various restrictions involving only 168 volunteers from June to September of 2023 and permitted up to $20,000 worth of digital currency to uh, enter circulation. Volunteers were restricted from acquiring additional digital currencies. Non-selected users were unable to obtain the stablecoin, and only participating local retailers had the privilege to redeem the stablecoin for U.S. dollars. Palau's Ministry of Finance issued the corresponding tokens on the XRP ledger and secured those funds by uh, collateralizing them with U.S. dollar deposits held in the U.S. Uh, FDIC Bank. Uh, the Palau Finance Ministry and Ripple Labs, uh, Ripple Labs have shared the pilot's results outlining the sub subsequent steps in the project's roadmap. This initiative sets the stage for uh, potential national adoption of the stablecoin as a payment solution, marking a pioneering effort in the use of stablecoins for small island nations. On December 7th, Palau's Ministry of Finance unveiled an extensive report detailing uh, the initial phase of innovative Ripple-based stablecoin program. Collaborating with Ripple's CBDC and central bank engagement teams, uh, the country employed Ripple's CBDC platform at a technical level for the pilot project. Uh, launched in June of 2023, and concluded in September of 2023, the program facilitated up to 200 employee volunteers from Palau uh, Executive Branch and engaging uh, engage in transactions with local retailers. Although the, de the data indicates that only 168 individuals took part, while 58% of respondents found the setup and usage of the wallet for payments easy or very easy. Uh, uses emerged during payment transactions. Half of the participants reported encouraging slowness, uh, encountering slowness, sorry, uh, in wallet use or payment processing, along with difficulties related to QR codes, usage, and manual address input. Uh, despite these challenges, the Ministry of Finance labeled the first phase of the program a success among both volunteers and retailers emphasizing the need for future phases of concent uh, to concentrate on building a larger ecosystem using stablecoin and establishing a legal framework. The ministry expressed its intention to introduce the stablecoin nationally as a convenient and cost-effective payment method in the long term. Uh, the Palau stablecoin, uh, PSC, 
numerous nations are investigating uh, the and, and embracing sorry central bank digital currencies and enhance payment systems foster financial inclusion and boost economic efficiency last december uh, the republic of palau entered into partnership with ripple to introduce a u.s dollar backed stable coin on the xrp ledger the palau stable coin was inaugurated uh as part of the phase one pilot program involving voluntary participants from government employees. Uh, the PSC is securely backed by the US dollar and operates on the environmentally friendly XRP ledger. It is a pilot program government, government employees were able to convert and receive stablecoin into funds deposit, deposited into their local bank accounts following the success of phase one. Subsequent, subsequent phases of the Palau Stablecoin pilot program are in the pipeline, aiming to extend the adoption and benefits of PSC to a broader audience. Australia, China, and India are also actively testing both wholesale and retail applications for their CBDCs to enhance payment systems, promote financial inclusion, and increase economic efficiency. In India, two CBDC pilots one for wholesale and the other for retail have been launched. Despite encouraging uh, early challenges, the Reverse Bank of India uh, Reserve did I say Reverse Reserve Bank of India uh, aims to nationally launch its CBDC by the end of 2023. Uh, the success of CBDB, CBDC implement, implementation in these countries has inspired over 100 others to explore CBDCs. Each driven to uh, di diverse, I'm sorry, my phone screwed me up there. Each driven to diverse motivations, uh, such as fostering financial inclusion, introducing competitive uh, competition to uh, domestic payments, and enhancing cross border transactions. Huge news for XRP Ledger, guys. All the money will flow through XRP. Not all the money, but you get what I'm saying. A lot of the money will flow through the XRPL, uh, which will affect the price of xrp like i said before guys do not listen to the naysayers i had somebody fighting uh an xrp video i did i think yesterday or the day before in the comments uh saying that uh you know the the coin always underperforms so i corrected them in the comments because no the coin does not always underperform in fact in the 2017 bull run xrp outperformed ethereum and passed ethereum in market cap three times it outperformed uh it only underperformed in the last bull run of 2021 because of a lawsuit that was a false lawsuit that was brought against ripple calling xrp a security ripple has won that lawsuit in the point that uh the secondary market sales of xrp are not security transactions xrp is now free to run through this bull run so do not listen to false information guys the point of that story was that somebody will say things like oh it underperformed it underperformed it underperformed it's all about narrative and it's the facts matter like i said 2017 bull run xrp outperformed ethereum and passed it three times right in total xrp has passed uh, ethereum three times um it only underperformed last bull run because of a lawsuit that was left out of the story too now that they've won the lawsuit now we're going to see xrp run we have two bull runs worth of gains to make in xrp this time around it is going to run guys ben armstrong has been saying that xrp is going to be the number one performing uh uh top altcoin this bull run and i concur with his uh, analysis of that it's going to be a madhouse in my opinion guys it's going to everyone who's been holding through the lawsuit who's been dcaing all that stuff you're going to be rewarded guys we are going to be rewarded uh if you if you hold xrp if you love xrp smash the like smash the subscribe button guys and uh definitely check out uh l bank the channel sponsor link in the description if you want a place to buy your uh xrp you could do your spot trading leverage trading copy trading no kyc required that is it for this one guys again hit the like hit the subscribe we'd love to have you stick around and i'll see you in the next one